Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam hukum. Welcome back on Cerita Katulistiwa episode 12. So, as always, before we start, let's we all listen together, listen and sing together our national anthem Indonesia Raya. Excited for our episodes today? Are you guys excited? Yeah, I'm excited yeah. too. So today we're gonna uh, the, the story today is the story a special story of Yogyakarta. And today our speaker is Ka Izan. Ka Izan, the time is yours. Okay, so assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi kiddos, are you guys here? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so hello, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Izan. Uh, you guys can call me Kak Izan if you guys want. Uh, and uh, for today's session, today's cerita katulistiwa, uh, I'll be talking about a special story from Yogyakarta. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy the material. And wait, let me try to my to screen to share my screen. Can you guys see my screen now? Yeah. Right, so yes. I apologize for any inconvenience that just happened for a few minutes. I hope it won't happen in the next episode. So yeah, I would like to welcome all of you guys to the 12th episode of Cerita Katulistiwa, which in this episode we'll be talking about a special story from Yogyakarta. So it's hello, uh, Sarah. Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing well here, and it's nice to see all of you guys here. So. Can you guys, uh, uh, have, you, have you ever guys seen these foods before? The one that I'm showing in the presentation? Yes? Um, how, how does it taste okay. like? Maybe some of you guys mind sharing your uh, experience eating those food and what do you like? Do you guys like it? You mind unmuting your microphone, I think? Okay, so uh, next slide. For today, let's do our best and support one another as we learn together about this special region that, uh, that I really love since I, I actually come from there. So what do you guys know about Yogyakarta? Uh, maybe Gerardo earlier uh, in the session have shared his answer or maybe how about the others? What do you guys know about Yogyakarta? Maybe the others would like to share their uh, experience going there or anything.
or maybe you guys have been to other area that looks similar to Jogja. A wondrous civilization. Disposed to tranquility. With scenic landscapes bordered by the sea. Here, mythologies become principal. And religions create the cornerstones of life. It is contained in the arts and crafts, where celestial ceremonies become part of popular culture. Legacies of glorious traditions where folk tales are regarded as guidebooks to perfection, honed over centuries, yet possible to experience within a few hours. Experiences you can take home. Here, art preservation is a tourist attraction. History is a living monument. Even shopping is meaningful. See world famous resorts compete with local means of accommodation. Enjoy natural kindness. Or the excitement of exploring nature. with endless stories to tell and never-ending feasts never-ending possibilities to get more out of life and journeys Jogjakarta Okay, so that was the video about, uh, and then uh, actually it's a, a brief or introduction videos about Yogyakarta. I hope you guys enjoy it. And now let's get deep dive into the topic about Yogyakarta. So first of all, Yogyakarta is one of the first special region in Indonesia. It is because firstly, Yogyakarta was once a sultanate. Do you guys know what a sultanate is? Have you ever... no. Yeah. Oh, I'm I'm sorry, guys, for the I just got disconnected from the Zoom. Um, I hope you guys are still uh going well, uh, still with me. 
Yeah. Can you guys see my screen or is it, uh, does it stop? No, I can't see your screen. Oh. All right, then wait, wait a minute. I can't yeah. see the screen. Can you guys see it now? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Okay, then. Yep. So uh, have you ever guys, have you ever heard the word Sultanate before? Or maybe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no. So basically, Sultanate is basically like a kingdom, or maybe the New Jakarta was actually led by a king back during uh, maybe for like such a long time, for hundred years time. From the ninth century, it was once an Hindu Buddhist, uh, the capital city of Hindu Buddhist empire, and and then it changed into a Mus in the, into a Muslim empire. But now uh, they joined to uh, Indonesian empire. Uh, that basically, the Sultanate itself was founded in 1755 by the King Hamengkubuwono I, with the name of Kasultanan Ngayogyakarto Hadiningrat. Can you guys say the name with me together? Yes. You wanna say it together? Okay, let's say it together. Let's unmute your microphone and say it together with me. Are you guys here? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah. let's say it together. One, I'll count, yeah. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kaizan. Kaizan, uh, maybe words by words like okay, let's say it. Uh, repeat after Kaizan. Okay, let's repeat after me. Okay. One, two, three. Kasultanan. Kasultanan. Adiningrat. 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 Okay. okay. Well done, guys. Very hard, very hard. Also. Yeah, it, uh, because it's derived from the Sanskrit uh, language, and it's uh, it was found it was from the seventeen fifty five. So it's such a long time, and due to its unique history, and which we will be talking about later, an important role for Indonesia's revolution. So Yogyakarta actually, uh, Yogyakarta was actually uh, one of the most important cities back before the Indonesia's independence in nineteen forty five. Insinyur Soekarno, which was the first president of Indonesia, gave the Sultanate or Yogyakarta itself a special decree in 1950. In 1950. Until now, Yogyakarta still remains as one out of five special regions in Indonesia. So I hope you guys will be interested in, and look forward to learn more about this region. And second, Yogyakarta is known as the center of Javanese fine art and culture. You guys see those pictures around the slides from uh, clockwise from top left from the top, left to right. So this picture, can you guys see my cursor? Yeah. So this one yeah. is called Abdi Dalam. Abdi Dalam, it is uh, they're basically the workers or the employees for the Yogyakarta Sultanate. And then this one, it is actually the entrance to the Hindu, Buddhist, and old Mataram Muslim empire. It is called, uh, the, the area, it is called Kota Gede. And then this one, it is actually a traditional dance from Yogyakarta. It is called Golek Dance. And this is the Kono Choroko. It is actually um, like an alphabet but then it's uh, derived from the Sanskrit language. Like uh, people in Yogyakarta use this, um, what do you call it, transcript to talk, to write, and then to read. The book was actually from this Kono Choroko transcript. And this one, it's a Prambanan temple. So it's from the Hindu Buddhist era. So from the ninth century, see, Yogyakarta actually was uh, playing important role for such a long time. Yogyakarta has been the center of culture and government of Hindu and Buddhist empire in Java Island. 
as you guys can see here, Prambanan Temple is one of the relics or the temple from the Hindunis era. The Hindunis Empire uh, was from 732 until the year 1007. Then from the 17th century, the Mataram Sultanate, the Muslim Mataram Sultanate placed its capital in Kota Gede. See, this is the entrance to the Sultanate. This is the ruin. Uh, and then in 1755, the, the Ngayogya Karto Hadiningrat, as you guys remember in the first slide, uh, the slide before, uh, the Ngayogya Karto Hadiningrat Sultanate was founded. And they remain preserving the Javanese culture until now. As you guys can see, these are examples of Javanese culture. And then thirdly, Yogyakarta, also known as the city of scholars. So, have you, can you guys see the pictures here? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the picture at the top, it's one of the top university in Indonesia. And apparently I go to the university, it is called Universitas Gajah Mada, or people usually call it UGM. Uh, there are also other university in Yogyakarta, such as State Yogyakarta University or UNY, uh, and Indonesian Islamic University, or some people usually call it UEE. And, but however, there are just three out of 136 universities that are located in Yogyakarta. So can you guys imagine how many, how many, how many scholars are there in Yogyakarta? And can you, you guys, if you guys can see here, at the bottom of the picture of Gajah Mada University, these are just three, uh, three um, Indonesian figures that, that went to Yogyakarta for the university. From left to right, uh, this one is Mr. Anis Baswedan, which is the government, the governor of Jakarta. And then the one in the middle is, uh, his name is Mr. Budiono. His name, uh, his, he was the 11th vice president of Indonesia. And then the one on the right, it's the Mr. Joko Widodo, which is the current president of Indonesia. So there are, and also there are many thousands and thousands of scholars and figures that went to Yogyakarta for their university or higher education. So maybe uh, you guys are thinking of going to Yogyakarta for university later in uh, maybe 10 to 15 years time. <laughs> and then nextly, Yogyakarta played such an important role in Indonesia's revolution. Oh yeah, by the way, guys, uh, I really want you guys to look uh, to, uh, follow me in the, in the, during this Zoom session, during this Cerita Katulisiwa, because at the end of this session, we'll be playing some quiz. I, okay, and then, so then fourth, uh, Yogyakarta played such an important role in Indonesia's revolution. So let's get back to Indonesia's history for now. Back in 1st September 1945, the Kamang 9, which is the ninth king of the Ngayogyakarta Hadi Ningrat Sultanate, and Paku Alam VIII, which was the, his vice for the king, released a decree which states that the Nyoya Yogyakarta had been a sultanate and the Paku Alam Sultanate will integrate with the Republic of Indonesia, which already did their independence in 19, 17th of August, 1945. And then in 4th January, 1946, because of the chaotic situation that happened in, in, in Jakarta, Soekarno and Muhammad Hatta, which were the first and second president of Indonesia, decided to move the capital city from Jakarta to Yogyakarta. So in, in so Indonesia uh, used to move to, be, to their capital city from Jakarta to Yogyakarta, and then they move it, they move it to other city in Sumatra, which is called Bukit Tinggi, and then they move it back to, Jakarta, to Yogyakarta, and then they move it back to Jakarta. And then, so then because the capital city moved to Yogyakarta, the, the ninth Hamengkubono Sultan and Paku Alam VIII Sultan gave the backyard of the Kraton or the palace. As you guys can see here in this picture, uh, these, are the figure, these are the Indonesian figures that moved the, uh, like Sukarno and Muhammad Hatta, that moved the capital city to, from, Yogy from Jakarta to Yogyakarta. And then after uh, spending three years in the capital city of Yogyakarta, uh, Insinyur Sukarno, which is in this picture, uh, and Muhammad Hatta, which was the, the first vice president of Indonesia, decided to return the capital city to Jakarta because the condition and situation there was getting better. And also at the same time, the Sultan Hamangkobono gave 6 million gulden. 
it was the old currency that we used back in Indonesia, 6 million gulden, or which is equivalent to around 44 billion Indonesian rupiah or 11,000 rial, or if I'm not mistaken, or maybe for 11 million, sorry, uh, as a donation to the Indonesian government. So can you guys imagine how rich Yogyakarta was back in the days? Actually, Yogyakarta is still rich until now. So we're, now we're going to watch a video about uh, some uh, uh, some footage about uh, what happened when the when Yogyakarta was the capital city of Indonesia. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you guys can see in this video, the one that I'm showing with my cursor, he is yes. Insinyur Soekarno. He is the first president of Indonesia, and the one on his right, it's, his name is Muhammad Hatta, the one with glasses. Uh, he is the first vice president of Indonesia. And uh, the video is actually quite old. It's from 1940s or 1950s, but I hope you guys still can learn from it. Ka Ivan, someone is asking, is there any sounds or the video doesn't have any sounds? I'm sorry, Ka, can you repeat? Someone's asking the video doesn't have any sound or we just can't the hear it. Yeah, the, the video no doesn't sound. have any sound. I'm it sorry. Sound. The video doesn't have any sound. I'm sorry. Because I think it's because an old video and I couldn't find the footage that has the sound in it. Yeah, so it's because of a very old video, yeah. so it doesn't have any sounds. It just has some pictures of it. Yes. This is the history of uh, Indonesia in Yogyakarta, yeah? Aizan? Yes, Kat. That's right. Yeah. Aizan, maybe Aizan can explain what's happening in the future. So in this video, so, Okay, so in this video, uh, it was basically the, the inauguration of Insinyur Soekarno, the first president of Indonesia, when um, because Indonesia uh, changed from the Republic of Indonesia to United States of Indonesia back in the days uh, because of certain situations like before, like some forces from the Netherlands. As you guys can see in this video, uh, there are many uh, important figures in Indonesia's revolution. Like this, like the one that I'm showing with my cursor right now, the one that's using glasses. His name is Muhammad Hatta. I think I've told you before. And, and this one, uh, this guy that's wearing uh, like a hat. Uh, his name is, uh, he's the king, actually, he's the king of Yogyakarta. His name is Hamongkubuono IX. So he's the ninth king of Yogyakarta. He uh, was, but, yeah? Yeah, he was. But now, it's, but now in Yogyakarta, he's the, uh, there's the tenth king. And the event happened in the backyard of the palace of Yogyakarta. Maybe you guys can see a little bit of the architecture or maybe the building. And it is just 1950s. So Yogyakarta Empire and Sultanate was actually very rich at that time. 
So this is uh, Insinyur Soekarno, the first president of Indonesia, was speaking uh, after he was inaugurated as the first president of Indonesia, uh, United States of Indonesia. This is the speech of Insignior Sukarno on his inauguration. And lastly, Yogyakarta has such a beautiful nature. Range from south to north, east to west. Yogyakarta is actually a province and it has a, uh, and it's actually quite big. From the south to north, from yeah, from north to south, and then east to west. Yogyakarta has such a beautiful nature in the north. Uh, as you guys can see in this picture, it is uh, a Mount Merapi. Ada yang ngomong kerjain ini sama Rizan biar itu biar ngelancarin. Ini. Impas ya. I'm sorry guys for the inconvenience. Uh, in the north, Yogyakarta has Mount Merapi and Mount Berbabu. In this, which is in this picture, and the top right. And then in the south, Yogyakarta has beaches like Indrayanti and Parangtritis Beach, which is in this picture. And then in the east, Yogyakarta has many rock caves like this picture right here, bottom on the bottom right. And then lastly, in the west, Yogyakarta has waterfalls like Mudal Waterfall or Mudal like as people call it, which is here. Okay, so for now, let's play some quiz. Are you guys ready? Yeah, we're ready. Uh, yeah. Okay, then, wait. Can you guys see my screen now? Okay, so now yeah. let's let's play some quiz to refresh our memory and about the presentation that I thought that I brought today. You guys can go to this link, joinmyquiz.com and enter the game code. Actually, I will share it in the meeting chat as well. So can everyone join the quiz?
What happened to him? Oh. Has everyone joined the quiz? So we can start it now. Has everyone joined the quiz? It's still 11. Do you guys have any question on joining the quiz? Do you guys have any questions about this quiz? <laughs> if you can join it or can't. Or maybe you guys have any trouble joining? So it's still 15. Where are oh, the rest? Oh yeah, oh, by the way, I just shared the link. So maybe for those who can't join from uh, by using this, the steps that I'm sharing here, you guys can actually go to the meeting chat and send and just go to the link that I sent in the meeting chat. And I hope the link works. Thank you, Ka Izan. Yes. Oh, there are 16, uh, there must be 36, so uh, uh, there's part 36 participants here, as I can see, but there are only 20 of us. Is that it, Ka? Or should we just start now? I think we should start now because uh, our timing is, uh, we run out of time. Okay, then. Okay, so we'll start now, okay? Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, use the thumbs up in the Zoom meeting. Or just show in the camera like this. Okay. Okay, we'll start now. Uh, when did Yogyakarta receive its special degree from Insinyur Sukarno? 1950, 1911, or It's actually nice to see Oh, I'm also, I'm also playing, by the way. <laughs> so when did Insinyur Sukarno and Muhammad Hatta decided to move the capital city from Jakarta to Yogyakarta? 31st December 2021, 1st January 1946, 1st January 1900, 4th 7th August 2004.
which one of this university is in Yogyakarta? You, can you guys remember? Ah, I got it wrong. <laughs> which mountain is located in Yogyakarta? Which mountain? Rapi Mountain, Talak Mountain, Sumbing Mountain, or Brapi Mountain? So Mount Merapi, as you guys can see here, it is located in the border of Yogyakarta at the bottom and the cent and central Java province. At Ah, can you guys remember it? Write down the full name of the Yogyakarta Sultan. Mm. No one, can, you, can someone remember it? Okay, then I will help. I only remember Hadiningrat. Okay, then. Okay, that's, that's the first word. What's the second word? Hadiningrat. Ah. Ah, uh, there is another word that was wow. The Sultanan. So the Sultan. Sultanan uh, in English means Sultanate. How much did the then Sultan Hamdullah gave to the Indonesian government back in 1949? Six million gulden, or six million and nine gulden, two hundred thousand gulden, or one hundred thousand gulden? Did anyone, did you guys remember? Six million. Hmm? How much was it? Uh, six million. I think you're supposed to not, I think you're, you're not supposed to tell everyone in the meeting. So in order to support the Indonesian government, Sultan Amoko Bono 9, which is at the right, Gave nine ten million golden. She this is Miss Insinyur Sukarno, which is the first president of Indonesia. It's not six six million golden. Ah, ka, which, ka yeah, it's six million golden. Million with M. Six million golden. Yeah. Which two of these figure went to Yogyakarta for their higher education? The first one is Insinyur Joko Widodo. The second one is Muhammad Atta. The third one is Mr. Atis Basweda. The last one is King Hamukubodo Nine. Do you guys still remember which two of these figures yes. went to Yogyakarta for their higher education? Yes. You guys can choose it though. You guys can just put the answer. Ah, oh, I got it wrong. I wonder who got it right. As you guys can see in this picture, Mr. Joko Widodo on the left wearing white shirt and Mr. Anis Basudan on the right wearing batik are two out of many figures that went to Yogyakarta for their higher education. Both of them went to Gajah Mada University or Universitas Gajah Mada. Oh. So how do we call palace in Javanese? Do you guys, some of, do you guys know it? It's yes. Praton. Praton. Ah. Praton. 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 Yeah. Oh, power up. Power up. Let's go. Good for you. <laughs> the government is also known as what? The city, of, city of, the city of scholars. The city of scholars. Yeah. Okay, I, knew that, just... I knew that question, but I didn't read like all of the What city that we learned about today? Yogyakarta! Yeah. Yogyakarta! Oh. Okay. Question. okay, let's try. The third one here. Okay, see how oh, this is the full name of Yogyakarta. The full name? I don't know. Let's, let's let's say it together. Sultanan. Uh, Sultanan. 
Let's say together. Let's repeat after me. Kasih sana. Okay, let's repeat after me. One, one word. One, uh, one word. One word. One word. Okay. Let's let's see. Kasultanan. 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 Gayogyakarto. Gayogyakarto. Hadi ni. It's hard. Yeah, I know it's hard. Even when I first learned about Yogyakarta, it was hard for me to spell the second word. Yogyakarto. Karto. Okay, so. Yay! Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's see your results. Oh, Arya got number one. Arya, what's insert name here? Second. What's the second one? And then. Oh. Oh, someone. Yeah. It's okay, guys. It's just a game, you know. Maybe next time when there's a quiz, uh, you guys can refer back to the PowerPoint. I will send. I will share the PowerPoint to the to maybe to the. To yeah. Ka Wilza, I think, or Ka Um, so uh, maybe, maybe I'll share here. I'll share the PowerPoint here, so you guys can learn about it. Will that be okay? Okay then. Yes. Ooh. So thank you guys for listening. Uh, I hope you guys can learn uh, and something from today's presentation. I would like to say sorry for any inconvenience that happened in today's Cerita Katulistiwa. Uh, in Yogyakarta, in, in Japanese language that we use in Yogyakarta, thank you is Matur Nuhun. You guys want to say Matur Nuhun. Matur Nuhun. Matur Nuhun. Thank you guys. See you in other episodes. Bye. 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 Bye.